And today we're going to take a look at static electricity. In this case, it's a static electric box. It's a simple demonstration, and it can be a lot of fun. So let's take a closer look. Now this experiment starts with this plastic sheet. In this case, it's polycarbonate, but other types of plastic will work. And I've made a nice box for it to sit on top of. Now we can do this easier if we use cardboard or, or as we'll see, aluminum foil. But the heart of this demonstration are these pith balls. They were purchased from a science supply company, and they're very cheap. And we'll put them in the box here and put the plastic on top. And look what happens. They start bouncing around. And if I rub my hand over the box, we'll see these balls bounce around inside the box. So what's causing them to move? Well, by rubbing the box with my hand or a cloth of some type, I'm actually creating a static charge. Now, we know that like charges repel. Positive repels positive. Negative repels negative. And positive and negative charges attract each other. Initially, the charges on the plastic and the balls are neutral, but as I rub that surface with my arm, I create a negative charge on the plastic, and the balls are simply going to readjust their positions with the negative charges moving away from the plastic and the positive side of the ball being attracted to the plastic. Now, when I bring my hand close to the surface, it actually disturbs the charge, and it's going to cause the balls to move again. Now, let's try this one more time. This time, I want to put a couple of the balls on top of the plastic sheet and see what happens. Get in here, there it is. Now I'll charge up the sheet. Drop a ball on, there we go. Now let me try and touch that, watch what happens. It's neat, it kind of shoots all over the place. And it's simply the charges trying to balance themselves out. Now let's try a simpler version. I made a box out of aluminum foil. Get it straightened out here. I'm going to use these four blocks to hold the plastic up. Put these in the corners. There we go. Let's put the balls inside and put the plastic sheet on top. And I'm going to rub it with my wrist. And we get the same behavior again. 